had no idea. <laughs> you, you can't tell me that anybody else did either, but um, I can't be mad at how it's all played out. I'll, I'll say that. I've just never been as happy as I am now. So I'm pretty protective of that. I want to keep this happiness going as long as I possibly can. Focus on getting this right. That's, uh, that's, that's all that my mind's focused on right now. Hey everyone, can you believe it's been a whole year of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? It feels like just yesterday we were all buzzing about them being spotted together for the first time. And now, here we are, a whole year later. It's been a whirlwind 12 months, hasn't it? From those initial coy appearances to full-blown public displays of affection, Taylor and Travis have been giving us a masterclass in relationship goals. They've been there for each other through thick and thin, cheering each other on at awards shows and football games, and generally just being adorable. And the best part? They seem genuinely happy together, which is all we really want for our girl Taylor, right? So, what's the latest? Well, rumor has it they're celebrating their one-year anniversary, and we're here for all the details. Get ready to dive into the world of Tavies and see how they're marking this special milestone. But before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss out on any new videos. It's free and helps us tremendously bring out new content for your enjoyment. It's officially been a year since Travis Kelsey boldly shot his shot with Taylor Swift and missed. A year ago today, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end had us all laughing and maybe cringing a little when he revealed on his podcast that he'd tried to woo the pop star with a friendship bracelet, complete with his phone number. On July 26th, 2023, a then single 34-year-old Travis spilled the tea on his New Heights podcast, revealing that he'd tried to woo the pop star, also 34 at the time, by slipping her his number during a concert. Spoiler alert, it didn't exactly go according to plan. If you're up on Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it, Travis told his brother, Jason Kelsey, during the episode. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. So I was a little butthurt that I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. While Taylor didn't take him up on the offer at the time, it seems Kelsey's persistence paid off. Fast forward to today, and the pair are living out a real-life fairy tale romance that has everyone captivated. Swifties haven't forgotten his grand gesture, though, and took to X to commemorate the anniversary of Kelsey's brave, if slightly awkward, attempt to win Taylor's heart. At the time, Taylor was newly single, having recently ended her long-term relationship with Joe Alwyn in April 2023, and then calling it quits with Maddie Healy in June 2023. Even though Travis's initial attempt didn't land him a date, fate clearly had other plans. The pair eventually found their way to each other, and Taylor even reflected on Travis's bold move during her Time Person of the Year interview in December 2023. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, she told the publication. Okay, but how cute are Taylor and Travis together? Seriously. These two have become America's sweethearts faster than you can say heiress tour. From stadium dates to cozy nights in, they've been giving us all the feels, and the world is absolutely here for it. And speaking of being here for it, Swifties haven't forgotten Travis's bold move a year ago. Social media was buzzing as fans celebrated the unofficial one-year anniversary of his friendship bracelet attempt, sending the couple well wishes and maybe, okay, definitely, doing a little playful teasing about the whole thing. It's safe to say everyone's rooting for these two crazy kids. One fan wrote, Happy July 26th to those who celebrate. Today is the actual one year of the podcast dropping, not yesterday. So glad Travis talked about giving Taylor Swift a friendship bracelet so we could all see a real life romantic comedy play out. Another added, Travis Kelsey got Taylor Swift's attention one year ago today. The rest is history. One more said, one year ago today, Travis Kelsey was asking how to get a bracelet to Taylor. And it's not just us regular folks who are obsessed with Tavis. Both Travis and Taylor have been surprisingly open about their relationship, gushing about each other in interviews and on social media. This is a bit of a departure for Taylor, who's been notoriously private about her love life in the past. Maybe she's finally found someone who makes her feel comfortable enough to shout her love from the rooftops. And honestly, 
Who could blame her? When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves. We're showing up for each other. Other people are there and we don't care. Taylor said during her interview with Time, the opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone and we're just proud of each other. And it's not just us regular folks who are obsessed with Tavis. Both Travis and Taylor have been surprisingly open about their relationship, gushing about each other in interviews and on social media. This is a bit of a departure for Taylor, who's been notoriously private about her love life in the past. Maybe she's finally found someone who makes her feel comfortable enough to shout her love from the rooftops. And honestly, who could blame her? Even Travis, who's used to the spotlight himself, seems totally smitten. He's raved about Taylor's talent and work ethic on multiple occasions, even admitting to The Hollywood Reporter, don't try and be Taylor, that's what I learned. She's on a whole other stratosphere. She's the best at what she does for a reason. Okay, swoon. It's clear he's totally captivated by her, and honestly, who can blame him? Travis continued, It's because she's so articulate and just very dialed into every single thing that she does, and that's the beauty of it. I'd be silly if I ever tried to take anything from what she does other than just enjoy the people that show up. I think that's one thing I could probably take away. She really relates to the people she's performing in front of, and so I'll take that. Now, we know Travis isn't afraid of a grand gesture. I mean, the man tried to give Taylor Swift his number on a friendship bracelet in front of thousands of people. And since they've gotten together, he's consistently raised the bar, showing up for her concerts, rocking out in the VIP section, and generally being the most supportive boyfriend ever. So for their friendship bracelet anniversary, you know he had to pull out all the stops. While we haven't gotten any glimpses into their private celebration yet, it's safe to say Travis probably planned something incredibly thoughtful and romantic for Taylor. Maybe a private concert under the stars? A romantic getaway? Now, honestly, it could be anything because do you remember what he did on Valentine's Day for her? Now, we know Travis isn't afraid of a grand gesture. I mean, the man tried to give Taylor Swift his number on a friendship bracelet in front of thousands of people. And since they've gotten together, he's consistently raised the bar, showing up for her concerts, rocking out in the VIP section, and generally being the most supportive boyfriend ever. Remember how he went all out for Valentine's Day? We're talking almost $16,000 worth of gifts, people. A source spilled the tea to the sun, revealing that Travis showered Taylor with luxurious presents, including a stunning $2,109 Venus et Fleur rose arrangement featuring 255 long-lasting roses. Talk about a way to say I heart you. So for their friendship bracelet anniversary, you know he had to pull out all the stops. While we haven't gotten any glimpses into their private celebration yet, it's safe to say Travis probably planned something incredibly thoughtful and romantic for Taylor. Maybe a private concert under the stars? A romantic getaway? We can only imagine. But wait, there's more. Because one giant rose arrangement clearly wasn't enough, Travis also gifted Taylor a second bouquet of vibrant hot pink roses worth another. Okay, hold up, because the Valentine's Day extravaganza doesn't end there. Remember when Taylor was heading off to Europe for her heiress tour with stops in those ultimate romantic destinations, France and Italy? Well, Travis clearly had those stylish cities in mind when he was picking out some extra special gifts for his girl. We're talking designer goodies that scream European vacation chic, think a sleek black leather Dior beret, because who doesn't look amazing in a beret in Paris? A gorgeous emerald green Bottega Veneta bag perfect for strolling through Italian markets, a chic wide-brimmed Celine hat for those sunny afternoons, and to top it all off, a luxurious Hermes scarf. Travis basically curated a whole European wardrobe for Taylor, and we are so here for it. So what do you think? What did he do for their anniversary? Comment down below and let us know. If you liked this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities, 